Hi, Gordon from Combat Arts here. We're going through some ab exercises. Uh, there's a bundle that I've mentioned before that I actually do on a regular basis. There's also some I got from uh, a professor of osteopathy. Um, I've got it from Pilates instructors. Just you go to the best sources you can find for the things that you actually need. So we're going to do a couple of a uh, uh, little bit odd and slightly strange ones, but they're very, very effective. A lot more challenging than you actually think. So part one of this, we're going to do the upper part of the abs. So we're going to be here, normal tracking. So we're not going to have legs going out akimbo, you know, legs going back. We're going to have normal tracking, feet parallel. So none of no bad habits. You're not building in weaknesses yet. So we're going to be here, lift the chest up, right? And it's like from your sternum. So you're going to be lifting this part, chin down. You can put your hands here. Toes are going to be pulling back, and you're going to push down both with your hamstrings into the ground and also your hands on. Right, so from a side view, so my back isn't going to be arched, uh, sorry, rounded. My back is going to come up, slightly arched here, chin in, toes back, legs straight, parallel. Yeah, no, nothing going akimbo. Yeah, and I'm going to lift from the sternum. I'm not lifting here, I'm lifting, so I'm keeping good form on this, and I'm pushing down hard, 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 while pulling my feet back up, my toes up towards my chest. Gonna lift and lift and lift. So you go here. Oh, if this is ver fully vertical, I'm gonna go back 15 degrees, and I'm gonna maintain that posture for, if I can, a minute, two minutes. This it will give you a six pack. Yeah, because you need to strip the fat off to see the six pack. But this will give you the actual shape, and it will work for the whole part of the unit. So this is firing predominantly the upper part of the abs. Part two to it is find the lower part of the abs. And the sequencing doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you do the lower first or the upper, yeah? So what we're gonna do on this one is almost the exact same, reversing and putting the tension in the lower part. So legs are gonna be up and straight. Okay, hands just at the base of my coccyx so my back isn't arching in any kind of capacity. Shoulders down. I'm gonna pull my toes down and I'm gonna let my legs go to 15 degrees. Meanwhile, I'm pulling with my transverse down, down, down. So I'm just going to hold this and keep pulling and keep breathing and keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling the legs down and straight. Good form, none of this, none of wavering, none of, yeah. Hold, hold, breathe, shh. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. So what some of you might find is you might get a little bit of tension actually here. Some of you with uh, tight hamstrings won't be able to straighten your legs fully uh, and pulling your toes back. So that's an area we deal with and a whole other set of issues about stretching and good stretching, you know, stretch that actually work. Little secret ones that have accelerated your progress. So this is a very unusual one, a lot more challenging than everyone thinks. Uh, I get guys who think they've got good abs, they start doing it and they start whining and making noises. There's a, there's a story. Okay, always useful guys, uh, give me some feedback on it, like, subscribe, etc, etc, the same old, same old, yep. Um, I'll see you on the next one, uh, give me comments. Ask for anything else that I can help with in any part of your training. Okay, see you soon.